Hey friends, welcome to my place. My name is Dave. Good to have you here. Now, hey Dave, you have a lot of fragrance and you talk about fragrance reviews. So what do you actually wear? Well, actually I wear a lot of my fragrances, but some fragrance that I go to often, these are two of them. This is Everyman Jack, Cedarwood and Sandalwood. Now it's gonna be a pretty simple review, so it's super quick. I got this in Target. They're about twenty or twenty-one dollar ish. Now recently, well, I owned this for about a couple years already. I recently saw they have two more uh, new ones. I for sure will be picking up. So might as well go ahead and let you know what this is about. Super quick. The cedar wood is gonna be cedar wood, but it's gonna be fresh woody, fresh type of cedar wood, they're adding vetiver and some cypress, but very light cypress. What that does is giving a very light, fresh, very fresh in touch. I just spread it on and it does last for at least half a day, four or five hours, no problem. The other one is going to be sandalwood, all right? The sandalwood is also is going to be added with vetiver, a little bit earthy, so also refreshing in the first five to 10 minutes. But afterwards, it's going to settle down to this little bit of a creamy type of a little bit earthy, meaning it's comfortable, it's more a little deeper, a little bit heavier scent for the colder weather. So I use these two exactly what that is. The fresh cedar was going to be for the little bit uh, warmer weather, while this sandal was going to be the, for the cold, uh, colder weather. And they both work very, very well. Even though it's a cheapy, in the beginning when I first got it, because in my mind, I know, okay, this is pretty cheap and no one's talking about this every man jack. So it was in my mind that, ah, it's probably not gonna be that good. And that sat in my mind for a while. Every time I used it, you know, that was in my mind. But the more I used it, the more I enjoy it. Every time I wear it, I would be thinking, you know, I should be wearing this more despite the pricing is so inexpensive. So what happened was in the beginning, I, I saw those uh, shampoo. They sell shampoo, uh, body wash, like beer product, all those things. So I started with shampoo and I really, really enjoyed it. So I tried, there was like a bunch of flavors for shampoo. So I wore those. I got like three or four different uh, flavors. Then I used a body wash, really enjoyed it. Saw these two uh, sitting there. It was a no brainer. So I picked up both and really, really enjoyed it because I, uh, you know, I, I like, I enjoy the, the woodsy notes, you know, the nature, natural type of uh, fragrances. So it was really a no brainer for me to pick up, but I was surprised by the quality of it. I mean, for a 20 some dollar fragrance, you never expect much, right? Rarely do you ever have anything that is worthwhile and not a throw away or uh, that you just stash in the back of your drawers, you don't care about it or your closet. But this too, I find myself reach for, reaching for every season, for the um, warmer season, for the colder season, without exception for the past uh, couple of years, I'll be reaching for this. I, I don't wear it every day because you know I wanna wear other fragrances too, but for this too to be on the spot in my rotations, it speaks volumes for how what I think of this. Now I'm not saying they're like over a hundred dollars in, in, in the in the taste, okay, in the ingredients or in, in the value. I'm not saying that, but I do think they're I typically say they're double their value. If this is 40, I'll still pick it up. I would think it's worth every penny. Yeah, I spread it the I enjoy the very top. Both of them in the top give you a very zesty type of zingy of freshness. I say that a lot whenever fragrance is really popping, okay? It, it will jump off the skin and there's a, there's a, it's not really a mentholated uh, freshness, but there's just something if you ever in the early in the morning and you smell some, uh, let's you pick up a leaf and it's very fresh, cozy morning. And there's a sensation that it gives me. That's what this one does for both, okay? Now that settles down after five to 10 minutes. And this one, the sandal will go into the, I'm smelling it now. It's a very heavy sandalwood and that is very enjoyable. There's a bit of sweetness, just a tad bit coming from you know the sandalwood and the vetiver itself. The vetiver is in both, which which gives a very clean, uh, very yeah, vetiver it could go into earthy direction or the clean direction. These are the cleaning type of direction. I mean they sell shampoo and body wash. You you would you know you would think that they want to give you the fresh out of the shower. Of feel, 
Do you know what would I say? It does have a tad bit of a shower gel. I mean, I, I try to avoid saying that because it has a bad connotation when people say, well, fragrance smells like a body, uh, body uh, shower gel. It seems, make it seem cheap or, you know, not valued. But this is a, a, one of the exceptions where it smells clean, yes, uh, a shower gel, but not necessarily in, in, in a negative way. It's actually in a very positive way. I really enjoy this. I'll wear this even not after the shower, right? During the day, I'll spray it on. Whenever I'm craving for that, the flavor, that the taste, not taste in eating, okay? But, you know, when you smell something, sometimes your mouth will be drooling, right? You can kind of taste it in your mouth. That's what I mean, okay? But it's, this is not, um, I don't smell anything citrusy or, or, or floral or blue or ambroxan, nothing like that. It's purely based on the woodsy type of scent, okay? And woodsy notes, just like the cap is trying to show you, it's, uh, it's a wooden cap. Yeah, I mean, this, it is a wooden cap, which is a very nice touch. The body is very simple, but then there's a curvature to it. I like, I like this body. It's very ergon ergonomic. It's easy to hold, okay? I enjoy the simplicity of it. So I can't wait to pick up the other two and uh, I'll probably talk about it very quick. So this is a very quick first impression. You ever see in the store, especially in the US that uh, in Target, I don't know if I saw in Walmart, but in Target, they're always there with a uh, with bunch of fragrances. I Earlier, I just did a review for um, Just Jack. So at first I thought these two are the same because <laughs> they're so inexpensive. I did not care about it. Did not look into it. And I thought, oh, here was a bottle. I just did a review for this one. I have not published it yet. But um, I, at first I thought they're the same brand. That's how don't care about it that I was. But now smelling it, I still prefer the Everyman Jack that I have for a couple of years. Just a first impression on this one. So I'll probably wear, uh, for sure I'll wear more of it and um, probably follow over the review after first impression. But coming back to Everyman Jack, these are different, okay? I, I Somehow, maybe they're the same uh, main company, but um, these two, I absolutely enjoy them. I will give this for, in, considering the cost, okay? I'll give this like 8.5 out of 10, considering the cost, but the smell itself is absolutely worth about double the price. So you could pick this up for $20, $21 in Target. Look it up, it's pretty good. Now they do have a website, but I think their website, the pricing is higher. So if you really find it in the Target store, check it out. I really, really enjoy it. But you, like I said, you gotta enjoy the woodsy note. Now it's pretty linear, okay? Whatever you're getting after the first five minutes, it's, in, it's gonna stick around the whole time. All right. Now, I'm not getting paid for this. It's just what I use. So if you ask me, Dave, what do you use? This is what I use, okay? Um, the juice level is pretty, you know, you could tell. I don't know if you could tell. I used it, okay, a couple of years, all right? Considering the, the number of bottles I have that I want to enjoy, this is pretty amazing to, using, to be using this much. And the thing about it is I will crave it. All right. Whenever I want to feel the comfort feeling of the woodsy note, this is one of the more purely uh, pure woodsy note. It is without the a lot of other added ingredients. I mean, when you're talking about woodsy notes, you 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 see they added a lot of other stuff. So I will be you know purposely looking for fragrances that would that will concentrate mostly on the wood is woods itself. The you know particular notes, just like this, the cedar wood. Cedar wood is more fresh, and I like that. And there's um, if if it, if it is able to bring me the sensation of walking in the in the forest in the woods, that's more you know that's like the most uh, perfect. Okay, that's what I'm looking for when I'm looking for the woodsy notes, and this does that. Okay, it's not I'm not saying it's like worth a hundred dollars. It's gonna take me into the uh, enchanted forest. No, that's not what I'm saying. But it it does the 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 woodsy notes. Uh, Beautifully, I'm surprised um, they able to do this for this brand. You know, for they don't have, like I said, I think they only have four fragrances in total for men. Okay, they do men uh, products, so I'm surprised they really bring this high, uh, high quality product for such a low price, and I really appreciate it. If this is one of those, these two, if I'm just starting out and I just want few fragrances. 
I will buy back a bottles of this and just use it for as, as my signature scent. This is signature scent worthy, in my opinion. Well, you divide in half, okay? The warmer season and the colder season, okay? So it'd be two signature scents. Uh, every time I spray, I love it. There's a bit of a, especially the sandalwood. Even if you dry it down, the sandalwood is added with, a, I think the vetiver is making it more, just a bit of a, I would say mentholated, but not really, really mentholated, but it's more of a refreshing, zingy type of smell. Yeah, I'm getting that. Um, you, it's so good in the cold weather, this um, sandalwood and the, yeah, the cedar. Right now it's sitting close to the skin, it dried down. Yeah, it's very, very enjoyable. I think, you know, especially during the warmer times, and then maybe, you know, if you sweat or, uh, you know, it gets humid and your body gets uncomfortable and, and if you smell on skin, if you don't like what it smells like, or maybe, you know, during a long day, it doesn't smell as clean, put this on. If you already have, have it on in the morning and then you smell on skin, it's going to give you a very nice, uh, there's a, instead of your body odor, you're going to smell something nice. And this is an absolutely a very pleasant skin. Uh, it doesn't smell overly powerful. Both of these are not overly powerful. It doesn't annoy you. It doesn't just uh, be what, you know, make you feel like you're a guy that, um, you know, wears so much fragrances. No, it doesn't do that. There's a light touch to it, but yet it is still uh, strong enough to be, to be smelt. And then to, to let you know it's pleasant, it's present and pleasant, okay? So I absolutely enjoy this very, very much. Um, yeah, I wasn't gonna talk about it because it's such a chibi that no one ever mentioned. But every time I go to Target, I'll, I'll see it, you know? And I thought, I, I like you so much, so I, I should, and I wear you every single year, so I should talk about this. So here it is. I hope that is useful though. As always, thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, all those goodies. See you next time.